In this video, I'm going to show you the three steps to get started on your paranormal adventure. And of course, Tuesdays are Paranormal 101. And because this is the first one on YouTube, I want to get back to the roots. Because Paranormal 101 is about how to start your paranormal adventure. This is the first three steps you need to take to get involved in the paranormal. Now, the first step is to figure out what you want to accomplish with the paranormal. And what I mean by that is, um, some people have lost a loved one and they want to prove that there is uh, proof of afterlife uh, or they want to have some kind of sign that there are ghosts, for example. Uh, you know, another ones might be that they want to have a once in a lifetime experience with a couple of their buddies. Uh, for me, uh, my kind of mission statement or my goals in the paranormal field are to help people get involved or if they have a group, grow it. And I, I led a college group uh, for four years and now I'm, I have my own group outside of college. Uh, it's with my hometown friends and I'm going to use this as a platform to share experiences, to share evidence, to share just how to do it, uh, to really get people into the paranormal field. And if they have groups, maybe some different techniques uh, to grow their groups. That's my statement. Your goal might be completely different, um, but you need to write this goal down. The second step is now we have a spectrum here. How do we want to achieve this goal? Over here is on the low end is you or a group of your friends, you're watching the shows. You get together every week, you watch the shows, you enjoy the paranormal, maybe you do some research, but that's where it stops. The next step on the spectrum is going on some flashlight tours. Okay, so you're out there by yourself or you're some of your friends, say you go to Madison Seminary because they're hosting a flashlight tour. You get to see all their history. And then, you maybe they even let you investigate a little bit. But now you're dabbling more into actually going into the field and experiencing it, learning some of the history, and actually getting some experience investigating. Next would be to join a group. And this is where a lot of people stop. Uh, and that is, there's an, there's an established group they do things one way, you really enjoy it, they're a great group of people, and you go forth and you join them and you have a fantastic time. And you go on a couple investigations and hopefully that will get you to your goal of what you're trying to accomplish. And But lastly, way on the center of the spectrum, is start your own group. You see, a lot of people start out just watching the show. They say, I love the show. I love the show, I love the show. Then they go, well, wouldn't it be cool if we did some flashlight tours? And then, wouldn't it be cool if we joined a group? And then maybe even after a few years of the group, they go, maybe there's drama, maybe, you know, they're doing it a certain way, or maybe you just say, hey, you know, I wanna, I, I, I love you guys, but I wanna run my own group. And you can do that. You can absolutely do that. So you need to find out what's right for you. And the third thing is, and this is the most important step, it's how to just do it. You know, go buy a flashlight at a local business or on Amazon or wherever you wanna go. Now you're a paranormal investigator. And just go watch the shows with a couple of friends or go do some flashlight tours or do some online digging around and actually find a group or maybe even start your own group. But those are the three steps. You need to figure out what you want because Say you've watched the shows, or maybe you played some scary games, and maybe you know you like ghosts. Maybe you want to do an investigation or two, or maybe you just want to watch the shows more regularly, or maybe you know just. But you gotta have a goal. I want to. I want to. You know, everyone says that ghosts are real. I have such an analytical mind. I don't believe in ghosts, but so many people that to me are you know valid. You know, there's so many stories. I want to know for so I want to see a ghost. I want to hear a ghost. I want to know that they're real by experiencing it myself. That's a valid goal. So you have your goal. 
You gotta figure out how you're gonna accomplish it. Maybe it's just watching enough shows. You say, yep, go surreal. Or maybe it's I have to do like 10 investigations, for example. Or maybe it's starting your own group and going to, to visit certain places with your friends. But those are the, those are the three steps that get started. And that's Paranormal 101.